Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the MFJ813 QRP SWR watt meter, and we'll get to it right after this. Per the owner's manual, the MFJ813 is a HF QRP watt meter that measures forward power and reflected power over a zero to five watt calibrated range. It also indicates relative power and reads SWR with any transmitting range from 100 milliwatts to 50 watts output. Okay, on the front here you have the knob for up to the calibrated five watts. With this button, press it in for checking forward as well as setting it up for your SWR. Have the button out for reflective and testing the SWR. And then you have the meter. There is no light on this one. And on the back you have the SO239 for the transmitter as well as the one going out to the antenna. Now let's take a look inside this thing and see what makes it tick. On the inside, not much to tell. You have the dial. This is the meter, and this side coming in from the transmitter, going out to the antenna, a very small toroid, and the button. Okay, I've got everything hooked up, and it's going into the MFJ260C 300 watt dummy load. I'm gonna be using five watts on the IC705. Just watch the meter over here, and you should see it hit five right on the far right side. And there we have five. Try a couple other bands. I'm using RTTY so we have a constant carrier. Try 40 meters. And again, we're right at five watts. I'm gonna turn the power down to two and a half watts, and then we'll do the SWR. Okay, use the forward slash set with the button in depressed in. And then you adjust the knob till you get the Needle all the way to the right. Once you're set, switch it over to reflective slash SWR. And you can see we're hardly moving the needle at all since I'm going through a dummy load. It's gonna be pretty much one-to-one. -one. Okay, I've got the IC705 hooked up to an external power source which will give me 10 watts. If you wanna measure a radio higher than the five watts all the way up to 50 watts, Make sure you have the knob turned all the way to the left, counterclockwise. Send a signal through it like I'm using RTTY and slowly start turning it to the right and you'll see the needle start creeping up. And you do that until you get to five and that'll be your reference point. You can see that the knob stopped just shy of the calibrated five watt mark. This meter only does average, it will not do PEP. And there are instructions in the manual for calibration. Now they say that it does come from the factory already calibrated, but they give you the instructions for doing a null time cap as well as power calibration. And they give you a customer service number if you have any questions. At the time of filming this video, the MFJ813 is going for $64.95. I found this to be a very useful meter one of the things I like is the fact that it does not have a light in the back, therefore I don't have to worry about running extra power for it, which means I can run the radios longer. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.